Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome back di channel Sumber Dakwah Official. Nah, kali ini kita akan melihat ini warga Spanyol kalau tidak salah, guys. Bukan warga Maroko, Spanyol. <laughs> Lupa saya, guys. Nanti kita cek lagi. Pokoknya ini beliau mereaksan Putri Are ini menyanyikan lagu Gok ya. <laughs> Oke, tanpa lama-lama langsung kita melihat videonya Bismillah. Let's go. So anyway, uh, I already got goosebumps. Already, like I'm not so, so. Like, I do cry easily. I don't want to cry. Okay, and the lyrics of this are so. I mean, when you read the English subtitles for this, you would probably pass. But when you understand Arabic, like I do speak Arabic, when you understand the lyrics in Arabic. And you know the situation we're yeah, in, and you know how kids Masara. and people are dying. Ah, it's just not easy to go through a song like this. So anyway, listen to this in three, two, one. Let's go. First of all, her pronunciation is really good. I mean, she is doing a great job. I'm gonna repeat this. I got goosebumps all over my body. And I'm trying not to cry. I don't wanna cry. Nangis Okay. 
child with something to say. Please listen to me. Nah, kalau saya mendengar lagi, langsung tripling ke Gaza. Kalau orang punya hati, pastilah sebeda. Kalau punya hati, Kristus terbesar terjadi. This song is Termakasi. Uh, this song is really powerful. The way she is singing it is so, you know. Okay, love song. It's so full of you know feelings and emotions, and uh, there is a part of it when like her voice sounded sad. You know, it's like she would be crying, and that got me. That part really got me. Uh, the lyrics of the song are really amazing, as you know, they are so, so powerful and so sad. And the problem is that, like, you feel hopeless. You feel like you cannot do anything. You wish you can go and fight with them, but we just can't do so. So we're just praying for them and we're doing the best we can, like, from where we're living. And uh, I really hope that the war stops. I really hope that they get like their land back. And I really I hope that those kids there, they have I mean, their I mean, childhood and given back to them. Because if you look at the videos, you know, if you follow like a journalist from, you know, uh, Gaza and you follow like. Uh, like pages on Instagram that like talk about like Palestine and shows things that happen and you see that the kids are no longer kids you know they're so mature they're so they're living a life that is older much older and than their own age you know I don't know if you got me like my English sucks uh, but like you got the idea that they are living and doing things that a child is not supposed to do at that age I've seen videos of children actually, oh my gosh, my, my voice is shaking. Um, they're like carrying parts of bodies with their own hands. I've seen kids talking. They're, those kids are like traumatized. They're talking about, you know, seeing like the most horrible things happening in front of their eyes. They've seen bodies. They've seen let's not get there but like they're still standing nah guys itu tadi dari reaction reaction holic nah, channelnya itu kalau tidak salah dari maroko guys Kaya panjang lebar beliau ceramah guys ya betul guys kata beliau pandai-pandai bersyukur nah itu hamba Allah yang paling pokoknya yang paling bikin kita luluh lantai itu hanya hamba Allah yang di palestine guys yang paling mengkhawatirkan, paling kuat iman, paling pokoknya hamba Allah yang paling 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 hebat, paling orang-orang pilihan yang ada di Palestina, di Palestina. Belah, saya akhiri pokoknya untuk kita anak muda, untuk kalian maupun saya, terutama saya, harus tetap semangat, harus tetap support Putri Aryani, jangan kasih kendor. Saya akhiri, wabillahi taufiq walidayah, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.